Now let's take a look at how we work with documents and folders in the doc. Let's go to my Mac. Now if you recall, our doc is divided into different areas. And if we go over to the right, you're going to see we have this vertical line. Anything on the left is going to be for applications, including recent applications. Anything on the right is for documents and folders. This is what we're going to focus on. Also, what you're going to see is we have the trash over to the right. The trash is always located on the very far right of our dock. I click on the trash and it'll open it up. Now what we can do is we can store our favorite documents and folders. So let's say you're working on a document and you want to have easy access to it. Well, all you have to do is just drag it into the dock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this folder that I created earlier. And let's say I'm working on this travel brochure, so I want to have easy access to it. All I have to do is just drag it down to the dock, on the right side of the dock. If I try dragging this down into the left side of the dock, let's go ahead and drag it down, you're going to see it doesn't do anything. But if I go over to the right, now what I can do is I can add it to the dock. I just click on it to open it up. If I click and hold on it, I can also open it up, and then I have a few options. Just like with applications, I can remove it from the dock from here, open it up at login, as well as show the file in the finder. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and remove this from the dock. I can also just drag it off of the dock, just like we did with applications. So that's how we work with documents. Now let's take a look at folders. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this folder here. I have this one folder, Downloads. This is installed by default. When I click on this, I can see all of the items in my Downloads folder. Now, being that this is a new install, I do not have any items in this folder. So watch what happens when I click on it. I just get a little arrow that says Open in Finder. So when I click on this, what it's going to do is it's going to open up this folder in the Finder. So let's go ahead and click on it. And now we're looking at our downloads. But now let's go and add another folder. What I like to do is I like to add my applications folder to the dock. And you'll see why once we add it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on applications here. And then what I need to do is I need to take this applications folder here and drag it down to the dock. So I'm just going to click and drag on this folder here. And then we add it to our dock. And now we have my applications in the dock. Now let's close this window. Now watch what happens when I click on Applications. I'm going to click on it. And now I can easily see all of my different applications. I click on any one of these to open it up. Now let's say I wanted to open up that Applications folder. Well, when we go back over here and click on it to see all of our applications, if I scroll all the way down, you're going to see Open in Finder. I click on this and I can open up my Applications folder in the Finder. I can also just Command click on the Applications folder in the dock. When you Command click on it, it opens up the folder. Now we do have different views for folders. Let's go and take a look at my Applications folder again. When I click on this, it shows my icons in a grid view. Well, I can change how they are shown. I can change how they are sorted. I can also change what is shown in the dock. To do that, what I need to do is I need to hold down the control key when I click on it, or since I'm using a trackpad, what I can do is I can do a two finger tap on it, and then I have all of my different options for how my folder is going to be shown in the dock. Our first option here is sort. How do we want the contents of this folder to be sorted? So in my case, my applications. Well, I like them to be sorted by name, so then they're sorted alphabetically. But if you want to have them sorted by another sort order, you just select how you want them sorted. Now, where does this matter? Well, let's take a look at the options for our download folder. With downloads, I don't want to have them sorted by name. I'd rather have them sorted by when they were added. So now I do a two-finger tap on it, and if we look, you're going to see it's sorted by when they're added. So now what's going to happen is the latest file that was downloaded is going to be at the top of the list. So that's how we can use the sort by. 
Let's go back over to my applications. I'm going to do a two finger tap. You can also control click on it. Two finger tap. I can also set how I want the icon to be displayed in the dock. Right now it is set as a stack, which means when I look at the folder in the dock, it looks like a stack of applications. Two finger tap. If I change this to folder, now it's going to show me just the applications folder. When I click on it, I still get the same behavior. It just looks like an applications folder. I like to have them as a stack. So I'm going to do a two finger tap and then change it back to stack. Our next option, two finger tap. Our next option is how do we want to view the content? Right now I have it set for automatic. With automatic, what it'll do is it'll change the view depending on how many items are in the folder. But if you just want to override this and set it for a certain view, all you have to do is just select the view. So when I go over to fan, what it's going to do now, when I click on this in the dock, it's going to show all of the applications in a fan. Now this view is good when you do not have a lot of items in the dock. Now I have a lot of applications, so I can't see all of the applications. If we look here, you're going to see I have 200 and more in the finder. So now what I need to do is I need to click on the arrow to open up the folder. Well, that's not what I want. So this view is good for folders that do not have a lot of items. Let's go and change the view. Two finger click. Let's go with grid. Grid is what we are used to with the applications folder. I click on it and I get to see them in a grid but I can also see them as a list. Two finger tap, select list, and now when I click on it, I can see them as a list. So now when I scroll up here, I can see all of my different applications. Again, I like to have them as a grid. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back down to my applications, do a two finger tap, and then set it to grid. I could also set it to automatic. So we can set how the items are sorted in the folder, how it is displayed in the dock, as well as how the content is displayed. We also have, just like with applications, we have different options. I can remove it from the dock and I can also show it in the finder. You're going to see that one thing is missing. I can't open it up at login. Well it's just a folder. There's no point in opening it up at login. So with folders we cannot open it up at login. And then I can also just go and open up the Applications folder. Select this, and now my Applications folder is open. So that's how we work with folders and documents in the dock. Our folders and documents are located on the right side of the dock. We can store favorite documents, and then we can also set if we want to open them up at login. Just like with applications, if we want to remove it, we just drag it off of the dock. With folders, we can set how we want to have them sorted when we click on the folder in the dock, how we want the icon to show when it's in the dock, as well as how we want the content to show when we click on the folder. So that's how we work with documents and folders in the dock on the Mac.